All right, so uh, one of the first things I want to uh, bring up that Bob went over <coughs> is that uh, he basically agreed with us that the adult courts aren't really fair for kids. Um, saying, you know, he didn't understand it, so how was the kid supposed to understand it? That was exactly our point that we were making, that Joey mentioned. You know, if, if someone who has a lot more experience in the world doesn't understand that if you plead guilty, you know, you actually have a, a more lenient chance, how is someone who's, you know, 12, 13 years old going to be able to understand that? Uh, there was also a case in uh, Pennsylvania where uh, there was a nine-year-old boy named Cameron Kosher who was uh, tried as an adult and denied a claim to get into juvenile court uh, because he lied. And according to uh, the district attorney for that, lying is something that adults do. So just because he lied about it because he was scared, you know, uh, he ended up getting tried as an adult for something he did when he was even under uh, 10 years of age. Uh, another thing is, uh, on that same point, um, a lot of uh, juveniles end up making or having misconceptions with the, uh, with the legal system because they don't understand it. A lot of them actually believe that uh, just because they were arrested, they're, it means they're automatically guilty. Um, so it actually will result in false confessions. Uh, it's actually really common because they don't understand uh, their rights fully. Um, they also don't know that uh, they don't have to speak against themselves in court, so a lot of them will actually end up doing that. And uh, let's see here. Yeah. And uh, one of the other things he was talking about, uh, he brought up, I don't remember the exact statistics he gave, um, about the uh, juveniles being less likely uh, in, where was the beauty? Uh, just in the U.S., oh, you said. Oh, okay. um, with the harsher penalties being, you know, actually preventing them, or I'm sorry, not preventing, but making them less likely to reoffend. Um, whereas, in in fact, what we've actually found is um, is that they're actually um, more likely uh, to reoffend when they're charged with more serious crimes after they're released um, than if they're tried as juveniles. We have a 56% reoffending uh, when they're charged as adults versus 41% when they're charged as juveniles. And considering that you know there's about 250 youths that are uh, tried, sentenced, or incarcerated as adults every year in the U.S., you know you're looking at at least 125,000 kids that it's basically giving up on um, right from the get-go. I don't know about you, but that seems like a lot of kids to uh, just kind of throw away and not even really give them a, a true chance for that. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 